you are stopping by for the first time and if you're not welcome today i'm going to be attempting to recreate a look that james charles did back in 2017 so wish me luck guys i hope i kill this look so fingers crossed okay without further ado let's get right into this video <music> I already cleansed my face so I'm going to go straight into moisturizer and I'm going to be using this one from Zara Cosmetics. In this look I'm going to be making up the upper part of my face only. That's because I'm, at the end of the day I'm going to clean off this part and then cover it up with, with the white paint. So this shouldn't take a lot of my time. So. For primer, I'm going to use this one from Zikel Cosmetics. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Nubam Beauty in my skin foundation. In the shade, what, 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 what's the shade? In the shade W5.5. <laughs> Concealer, I'll be using this one from Nubam Beauty in the shade 041. And then for blush, I'll be using this one from TM Essential. I'll be using this one from RCM. I'm going to go into this Zikiel powder palette to set my face. here to contour my face guys i'm being too lazy to go and carry my um, contour and blush palette that's why i'm using a dark powder to contour my face and also the blush from this palette it's not totally useless you can actually use it and it just it does the job perfectly guys can you see can you see how pigmented this blush is so nice so in case you don't have a powder palette and sorry in case you don't have a blush palette or a contour palette you can actually use your powder palette to do both next up i'm going to go into my brows and i'm going to be using the hair guy and esther brow pomade in the shade toffee I have a detailed brow tutorial on my channel guys, I'm going to leave it linked up here and I'm going to do an updated brow tutorial so stay tuned. I'll be going in with, with this hair wax just to pull my brow hairs in place. After that I'm going to set it with powder. I'm going in with my angle brush now and the brow pomade. I'm using the same concealer I used to highlight my face to clean up my brow. Starting with this eyeshadow palette from Zikel Cosmetics, and I'm going to be using the shade Gossip, this red shade Gossip, as my transition shade. I went ahead to bake my face, guys. So I've already done this face, so I'm about to do the second eyes now. I'm going to blend it to come into my contour. So guys, I went into my powder again to blend out this place. 
so there are no harsh lines. Next up, we'll be going into this apple palette. Now, I'll be using this dark brown. This dark brown. For my outer color. Okay. I'm going to place it right here just to deepen this outer color before I cut my crease. I'm going to be using this cutie to cut my crease. For my crease color, I'll be using this shade in Indijeka. This one. I went back into that brown to deepen the outer corner even more. Lastly, I'm going to be using this blue shade, this blue shimmery shade from that same Avo palette for my under eye. I've already used my white eyeliner. to set all over my face guys the highlighter i'm using is very messy and i can't show you guys but the one i'm using is from is from zikel cosmetics they are loose setting they are loose highlighter sorry that's what i'm using it's called the glow dust no dust, my mistake. It's so messy, like I cannot raise it up. If not, I'll just make a mess here. Yeah. I'm almost done with the look, guys. It's time for the white paint. I'll be using the white paint from this Imagic palette. Is it Imagic or iMagic? I have no idea, guys. So, but I'll be using this white shade, and I'm going to mix it with this Hega and Esther. What do I call it now? Makeup seal. I'm going to use it to make it into a paste, so it's going to be easy for me to apply. <laughs> look i hope i killed it i will be so mad if i don't like this makeup at the end of the day end of the night actually this is currently 2 30 a.m guys and i'm here creating this masterpiece for you guys You see why I need to make this into a paste so application will be very easy. I'm going all in guys, all in. Wow. <laughs> I look like a clown. I like it. I love it. <laughs> this look is coming together guys. I'm obsessed. My hands are killing me guys, painting your body is not the best comfortable position guys, my hands are literally killing me here, wow, <laughs> I love that so much, I'm just trying to blend this cause 
I want everything to look so smooth and seamless. Can see the difference between where I've blended and where I haven't blended. So fingers crossed, guys. I love this. So the second best part of this makeup, guys, is time for the foundation drip. I call it drip, or should I say tears? I'm going to be using the Zara foundation for this. I chose this one because it's very liquid very liquidy is that a word <laughs> it's very watery i don't know how to say it guys <clears throat> it's more on the liquid side so let's do this Hold on guys, I have to look at that picture again so I won't miss this. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm still on track. at this point I'm just trying to blend this I think it's okay before I mess this up but I don't like it <laughs> let me figure out how I'm going to put on my hair and then I'll be right back if you want me to do more videos like this please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to create them for you guys. I really had fun creating this look and I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up as it will help my channel. And please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.